Royalton Barbaro Punta Cana. Uh, this is the cheapest room they have here on site. This is the luxury junior suite, and I love it. If you are considering staying at Royalton Punta Cana, you absolutely need to check out my dedicated room tour where I go over everything. You're gonna wanna see all this room has to offer. As of right now, I am just gonna hit the high points because we have so much to get to on this property. Uh, immediately in the bathroom, which is the first thing you are hit with when you enter the room, you have your oval tub. And then as you move forward, you have a beautiful dual vanity. And then moving into the shower, I have to show you this. This is one of the coolest shower setups I've ever seen. Not only is the glass painted, and there is a private sitting area uh, right at the back of the shower, you have dual. That's right, dual rainhead showers. Transitioning into the main portion of the room, the bedroom area, and then the entertainment area. These seem to be the same beds that are at Royal de Putacana, so no change there. I thought that bed was one of the best I've had in Putacana, so these are gonna be great. And then lastly, here is the balcony. Uh, this is quite the contrast from my balcony that I had at Royal Taputacana, which is where I had the honeymoon suite. But for the cheapest room here on property, it's not that bad. You do have a view of Majestic Mirage, but better than that, you do have a peekaboo view of the ocean, allowing you to keep your eye on the action and the weather. All right, that is it for the high points. It is time to officially, officially get this trip started. I'm here for four nights. We got to see what the beach is like, go to the pool, check out the restaurants, and find the best drinks. All right, good morning. Big day planned today. Possibly a huge day when I combine what I planned for this afternoon and this evening. I'll touch on that in just a second. Before I get to that, Grazi from last night. Love the name, but everything else was pretty standard, typical, and predictable for an all-inclusive restaurant, AKA it was average. I one time had somebody ask me what average food was like. And to that, I said, if you don't know what average taste, texture, quality, and freshness is like, then I can't help you. All right, I'm off to the Diamond Club Pool. That's right, the Diamond Club Pool, not beach, the pool. And it looks really cool. It's a double decker, it has a great setup, and plus that's where you get the premium drinks. It's right by the beach, I'm headed there right now. Let's get this day started. All right, so I'm halfway through my pool day. It's interesting, it's not really what I expected. Uh, I'm gonna switch things up a little bit. I saw a Coco local station right next to the pool. I'm gonna go over there and turn things up myself. All right, the Diamond Club pool. I definitely got some sun today, that is for sure. Uh, here's a quick little anecdote on the Diamond Club pool here at Royalton Bavaro. You know, I walked by this pool last night and I was so excited to get down there this morning. It had this really cool, bold, vivacious red furniture, which I haven't really seen yet in Putacana. It had kind of a double-decker setup. It was located right next to the beach, so you go back and forth between pool and beach, which I love to do. It had a swim-up bar, it had another dedicated bar, and restaurant, it had day beds, it had cabanas, it had hyper cabanas with their own private pools. And then of course, it was all encompassed by Diamond Club where you get the premium drinks and a bit of exclusivity. This was supposed to be my everything pool and it just didn't come together. I just wasn't feeling it. The, it's kind of crowded, kind of small and just kind of, kind of bland. You know, I thought things might pick up a little bit at noon, I started playing some really good music and that's when the water aerobic class started. 
Now, I don't need a real Republica or Hard Rock pool experience at every hotel. That is not what I'm looking for. In fact, quite the opposite. I don't know, the pool just didn't come together for me. I am going to try to go back one more time later in this trip, but as of right now, um, yeah, that was, that was my experience. So I got a big dinner planned tonight. I'm going to the number one restaurant here on site. It is Hunter Steakhouse. Let's do it. Good morning, I just finished up at the Diamond Club. Uh, I am luckily located in the Diamond Club building and the Diamond Club is right below my hotel room, which is really convenient. You know, it's a great place to stop in for some finger foods, a cocktail, a coffee, or if you just kind of want like an exclusive yet public area to hang out. Uh, I also went to the gym this morning. It was small but decent, definitely enough to get the job done. And then last night at Hunter's Steakhouse, I actually had a really fun dinner. The ribeye was fantastic. I was surprised to the upside on that. And I loved the decor in there, especially the cutlery chandelier. That thing was so cool. So I'm hoping to have a great beach day today. I'm headed down there right now. Let's get to it. Okay, night number three here at Royalton Bavaro. This stay is moving along quite quickly. I know you want to know about the beach and I'll just let you know it's right next to Majestic Mirage. And if you've watched any of my Putacana content in the past, you know that I loathe that beach. That is one of the worst beaches I've seen in Putacana. This one is literally right next to it. So it does suffer from a lot of the things that do plague the Majestic Mirage Beach. Mainly, it doesn't have a lot of real estate. It's not one of those huge, beautiful, broad sweeping beaches you'll find at like Secrets or Hard Rock. And because of that, there isn't a lot of space. All the seats are jam packed right next to each other. So privacy is really at a minimum. I will say that it is slightly incrementally better than Majestic Mirages, and if I did have to pick a beach, I would absolutely choose the beach here at Royal Did Barbaro, but it is a very far cry from the gorgeous beach over at its sister property, Royal Did Putacana. Okay, just a very, very quick update that I'm off to dinner. I'm doing the buffet tonight. I'm really excited to see what that is like. Um, after my beach time today, I just walked around the pools and I did find a really cool general pool. And uh, it might even be better than the Diamond Club pool. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that tomorrow. And I did go back to the Diamond Club pool today and the vibe was slightly better from what it was the day before. It wasn't nearly as overpopulated. And because of that, it had a much better energy and a much better vibe. I decided to eat lunch there. And if you do go there, you have to order two things. Order the fluffy mongoose drink. I love that name. And the Dominican chimney. It was delicious. So just when you think you are going to a buffet, you enter a beautiful sit-down restaurant with a full menu. And just when you think the hotel stay isn't going that well, you get hit with one of the best meals you've ever had in Putacana. I am floored right now. It was unbelievable. Uh, definitely easily the highlight of the trip thus far. I'm really excited to tell you about it, but it's gonna have to wait until tomorrow because I just strolled by a martini bar 
with 20 different types of martinis. So this is where things ended last night. This is Martini Bar. I had a really great time here. It was surprisingly electric for a family type environment. In the middle of this octagon is a huge courtyard and that is where people come to relax and lounge and socialize and sing and dance. And then along the perimeter of this octagon, that's where all of the venues are. So that's where you're gonna find your restaurants, your bars, your lounges, um, your shopping and everything else. So this is the hub and spoke of the entire hotel. My favorite drink at Martini Bar is the Mango Martini. That is a must if you're coming here. And I actually think I saw another bar here last night that was tucked away in the corner. I think that's where I'm gonna try to start my day. Hopefully they have a cool drink for me. And then I need to get to the pool and the lazy river. So that was Lobby Bar. Definitely the classiest place to get a drink here on site. That place was beautiful. Uh, I started my morning with the Breakfast of Champions, AKA the Miami Vice. If you wanna know one of my tips or hacks to finding these really cool drinks at these Putacana all-inclusives, I always go up to the bartender and just ask for something especial, something bonita, you know, maybe something loco or something genial, which I believe translates to cool. Half of the time, you're gonna get like a Sammy Sosa or Miami Vice but the other half of the time, you're gonna find something really unique that you've never seen before. So I'm right next to the mini golf course. Yes, they have mini golf on site, and that leads into the kids' water park, which you know is not my style. But I'll tell you what is my style, the Lazy River. So that was one of the best lazy rivers I've ever seen. It was beautiful, it was clean, it was classy. There were waterfalls, water slides, there were water bucket drops, there were fountains, and most importantly, there was a grotto bar. Yes, they had a bar in the lazy river. Uh, they also had like a barbecue buffet in the middle of it with kind of like a food truck. It was just a fantastic experience overall. So that was the lazy river, and now it's time to get to both of the standard pools. Finishing up at the regular pool. Um, in some ways, I kind of liked it better than the Diamond Club pool, which I may touch on later, but there's a swim up bar, it has an infinity aspect, it's right next to the beach. It was a great place to hang out. And then I went over to Sands Beach Bar and I kind of had my heart broken. It's the same menu that's at the Diamond Club pool. Here I thought I was special and I had Diamond Club. It's the exact same drink menu. Man, is Diamond Club even worth it? Now I don't even know, now I'm kind of disillusioned. I'm actually going to go back to Diamond Club Pool right now. I'm going to finish my afternoon there. I'll catch you on the flip side. All right, so today was a pretty big pool day, and it gets only bigger tonight because I have my biggest dinner, my Brazilian steakhouse dinner. Technically, it gets no bigger than a Brazilian steakhouse dinner. In fact, you know, as I look at it now and I book these, I probably should not have saved the biggest dinner for the end. I have a pretty uh, jam-packed day tomorrow, but we'll see. Okay, uh, dinner last night at Oceanside. I never saw it coming. I mistakenly thought it was a buffet for some reason. I walked in and nobody was in there. It was desolate. Yeah, it was a beautiful location right next to the beach. But I was like, there's no one here. What'd I get myself into? I'll tell you what I got myself into. Uh, a phenomenal meal. I'd say it's a top three or four meal I've had thus far in Putacana. And remember, 
I've had over 40 of them in recent months. So definitely like within the top 10% of meals or restaurants. Uh, the menu was fantastic. The food quality was fantastic. The taste is fantastic. Uh, just overall, I can't say enough good things about it. If you're coming here, absolutely go to Oceanside. It is the place to go. Forget Toro, forget the Zen place, forget all those. I've done all those at here in Putacana. Go to Oceanside. You will not be disappointed. They almost had to roll me out of Rio last night. Yeah, that was uh, gluttonous. It was decent. It was actually really decent. Um, the thing I liked about it is that it was like a traditional and typical Brazilian steakhouse where they come to the table and carve the meats for you, as opposed to the Hard Rock where they do have a Brazilian steakhouse, but at the Hard Rock you have to go serve yourself, which I think absolutely takes away from the Brazilian steakhouse experience. So yeah, it was, it was decent. And I was thinking last night, you know, it's really the food that saved this trip for me. Now, I'm not calling the food here great. It's not, but it outperformed. It's better than what I thought it would be, and it's better than what I've had at places similar to this in the past. Absolutely, it is better than the food over at the sister property, Royalton Putacana. So I am out of here. Here are some closing thoughts, and of course I'm gonna rate this property. Um, the standouts were absolutely the great entry-level room. This is one of the best standard rooms I've seen in Putacana th thus far over my Putacana excursions. Um, also, the huge standout was service. Um, I mentioned this in my other Royalton video at the sister property when I made that video. The service there was outstanding. I compared it uh, to the levels of secrets or some of the majestic properties. This property is even better. It is by far definitely the best service I've ever had at any Putacana hotel. So if service is really important to you, whether that's from your assigned butler or your waiters or waitresses, um, your housekeeping people, or really anybody on the property, if you're really big on standout service, you have to come to this property. You're gonna be really, really impressed. So I am gonna make a dedicated video on Royalton Bobro versus Royalton Putacana because they are so similar yet so different. Um, at least on this property, you know, what was kind of underwhelming and disappointing for me were the pools. I thought they were undersized and overpopulated. And also the beach was a bit of a letdown. There wasn't a lot of real estate out there. The beach was actually very narrow and because it was narrow, the seats um, and everybody in them were just really jam packed tightly together. Not a lot of privacy out there. So who is this property for? Like the other Royalton property, this is predominantly a family hotel. Very predominantly a family hotel. Not entirely families, but heavily, heavily families. And that's just because that's, I think, who these Royalton properties market towards. You know, you have the kiddie pools and then you have the mini golf and you have kind of the kid attractions. Um, it just is a fun, family hotel. It's an upscale family hotel. I think it's perfect for families, but if you are a solo traveler, um, small group, large group, even maybe a couple and you're looking to socialize and maybe meet like-minded individuals, be advised that this is absolutely a family hotel. So some final thoughts. I think it's um, a decent property. I think it's a solid property. I'd say it's absolutely closer to five star than it is four and a half to four. Um, it is an awesome family hotel. One thing I really did like is that it had bars everywhere, so it's very convenient to get a drink. And also it had great restaurant options. Uh, if you're gonna be here for a week or maybe a little longer, there are enough options here, I think, to keep you interested for that amount of time. So with all of that taken into account, I'm gonna rate this property a 2.5. Uh, you know, to sum it up, I think it scores really high on value, service, and a great room. It is very similar to the other Royalton property, but also very much different. And in a follow-up video, I'm gonna compare those two and tell you which one you should stay at when you're coming to Putacana.